Hey guys, we're on a little adventure. We're at a place called FTH Power, and I, I was brought here by my buddy Sam from the hey, Electric Bicycle going, Center. And uh, you know, these guys offer some really interesting electric bikes and a battery repacking repair service here. So I'm with Farzad. Hi. And Ken. Hi. Take it away. Like, take us in here. I'm, I'm curious to see what you do. All right, come on in. Okay. Sweet. And thanks, Sam. Like, this is. This is us. A request that a lot of people have been asking in our store is like, what do I, where do I get batteries? And I probably get that call once a week or more. And these guys are local right here in Southern California. Sam was telling me a little bit about this place on our way. It sounds like you guys have been around since maybe 1997? Yes, we've been repairing electronics um, components for past uh, at least 20 years, the two of us together. Whoa, yeah, I'm seeing, it looks like some stereo decks and stuff like yeah, that. mostly automobile electronics. When did you guys get into e-bikes or what's the um, deal? A few years back, we, we thought about getting into uh, e-bikes business. And since it's a, a, a good transferring from electronics repair to other electronics pieces, that's, yeah. what, that, that's what we thought about. I what? use them at home all the time. <laughs> my, my, my kids love it. Oh, that's awesome. And Especially I if you live on a hill because um, I'm getting older, so I need a little assistance. Is that why there are two batteries here? You get the yeah, extra boost? Yeah, you get the extra boost, <laughs> but uh, mainly for the distance. But the, the real reason we came up today was to talk about the batteries and right, what, what's right. this service that you offer. Well, and where are we going to go next? Uh, we're going to go where we do the actual repairs now. Oh, boy. Do we need like hazmat suits or no, no, no. ESD bands or no, anything? It should be okay. Whoa, oscilloscope. Sweet. Like a friendly guy over there. There we go. Sweet, lead on. Okay, whoa, this place is a lot bigger than I thought. Man, this is crazy. Like now we are uh, uh, using an automated system that charges and discharges batteries, and we tell it how many times to charge and discharge at what rate. That way we test the battery after we're done to make sure that it is, uh, it is uh, doing what it's supposed to do. So what kind of battery cells do you use? We are using currently Panasonic, Samsung, and LG cells only. Interesting. Because we feel like the reliability is there and we can trust it. We will match the impedance up to 5% from one cell to another cell because that gives it a, a performance that's guaranteed for a long time. Interesting. If the impedance doesn't match, the reliability goes down by as much as 25 to 35%. Whoa. Okay, so do you price dynamically? Like what if some, someone sends you the pack and they might think they gotta pay for a whole new set of cells, but then you're like, no, you just needed a couple cells replaced. Well, we give them an estimate of what we feel like. It's difficult to um, duplicate field tests, but under these tests that we do here, we give them an estimate of what we think the best solution for the customer is. And then do they pay or do they pay up front? No, they pay afterward. Whoa, wow, mm -hmm. so you guys really offer a lot of we service test here. It. We will charge a $35 fee to test and give them an estimate of what uh, what the actual repairs that it needed. Okay, okay, great, great. So we talked about like the high quality cells that you guys use, you talked about the testing and this is the machine and then you cycle it a bunch of times to make sure it's working right. properly. Right. I mean, what's the price estimates range? Like, what, what would someone expect to pay to have a battery repaired? Um, a full-size battery, to replace completely all the batteries, we are, we are guesstimating less than $300. Okay, okay, because, yeah, a lot of times these batteries can be, like, $1,000 for a really nice battery. Um, sometimes it's $600, you know, depending, but... 300 bucks is as right. an average. Thank you right. for going out on a limb and saying that. Mm -hmm. I don't mean to put pressure on you. Um, I was noticing there's, there's like signs over here. So yeah, we work with the actual manufacturers of the batteries right now and oh, we do like... their refurbishing for them. We test them. We, uh, the ones that they get back from their customers, they send it to us. Wow. Because most battery manufacturers don't have repair facilities. So you're, you're, you're like the source right, right. here. That's, they, uh, that's they, they might manufacture batteries, but they don't have repair facilities. So they're using us to repair their batteries for them. That's awesome. And the cool thing about that is like, there are companies that have gone out of business over time. And so you might be the only right. hope for them. They that might not, true. you know. That is true. So thank you for clarifying yeah. that. And then Sam was telling us earlier that there's this machine, something over here, like an impedance machine or? This is where they test the cells right here. Whoa, those are the 18650 cells? Right. 
and and then it separates them out into like different batches or something? Different batches, and then we are sure those impedances are the same or within tolerance that we put in, which is about 5%, and then we use them inside the, our battery packs. Okay, this is pretty sweet. Like, I appreciate how complex what's, it is. What's this machine do? Yeah, what does this do? <laughs> well, you can't use soldering machines to, uh, to, to solder batteries to get it. You need a spot welder, and this is a spot, spot welding machine. It's computerized, and um, um, our workers sit here and put the batteries with a, with a case on top of it to connect all the batteries in one pack. Nice. That's what we do. Very cool. Now, they have on the back wall over here, they already have, like, if you have a silverfish or a shark or a dolphin pack, They've already got cells that are like shrink wrapped. Can we check that out? We take us out here. Yeah, Sam has done this before, right? So yeah, I came in. All, all my customers that come in with batteries, I send them to these guys now. There's probably quite a few companies that aren't around anymore that you need a battery for, and I get those calls like, "What do I do?" Hmm. And now we have an answer for them. That's right. Wait, and what do you guys do with like the the cells and stuff that you take out that aren't good anymore? Oh, we recycle them. It's it's a must in California. You won't be in business if you're not recycling them through. Um, That's and, good. And so they're, they're not just going company. into the dump no, or no, polluting or something not. like absolutely that. Not. That's great because there are people where it's like, whatever, my battery broke, I'll just throw it away. And that's no, not good that, for the that's environment. That's not right? good for the environment. And uh, there are very hard regulations in, some, in California for that. And okay. you follow those. It's cool that you guys are here because so much e-bike stuff seems like it happens in China or somewhere else. And it's it's really neat to get to see it up, for, up close like this. Right. This is a battery pack that we were talking about. Really? We already have this made for us. Huh. And um, if someone needs a battery that need to replace the whole inside, we have the option of doing this hmm. and not make individual cells for them. So this would be a cheaper way if they had like a slide in rack mount battery or right. something like right. that. Right. What's the size of that battery? Is it 36, 10 amp hour? This no, one is 36, 11.6. 11.6, yeah, it's a very common size. So that may be a little bit bigger than like if uh, an EG Athens is a 3610, you upgrade and you have 10% right. larger battery. Wow. <laughs> As I was saying before, this is uh, the, the new batteries are more powerful. So you in the same case size, you get more power than you did three years ago even. Yeah, this is pretty sweet. Can I hold that real sure, quick? Sure, of course. Yeah, and it's not too heavy either. So that that's, is that one of the options you can say, hey, I want like the really high capacity 18650 cell. Right. Like that, the 35E that, right, or whatever. Right. right. Okay. And we replace all the BMS boards also at the same time. That way we make sure, ensure that it's working properly. This has been awesome. Is there anything else? I've tried to ask all my questions. Thank you for helping out, Sam. Is there anything yeah. else we... You know, the main thing is, is it's local here in Southern California. And quite honestly, this is a service that is needed nationwide mm. in North America. So, you know, there's a couple people out there that are doing it now. This is just one more company that we can add to that list that are uh, refurbishing batteries for the e-bike community. What if you do live like in Colorado or Arizona or... Do you guys um, work with those guys? We'll work with them. However, they have to find, at this moment, they have to find a place that will ship hazmat products. A hazmat shipper. Okay. And so, there are some companies that do well, that. Definitely. There are some companies that do it. And it's not that difficult to become a hazmat shipper for dealers that are interested to become a hazmat Oh, so shipper. some more partnerships maybe. Of course. Of do, course. Does your website have a list of current partners? Yes, we do. You do? Yes, we do. Okay. Yeah. Again, that's the fthpower.com. I feel like that's great. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I invite you to ask questions in the comments and I'll you know, make a little forum post and I'll link to that and stuff so these guys can join in. Um, it's always fun to get a little bit behind the scenes and help you keep riding a little bit longer and keep that bike that you love going instead of feeling like you just gotta throw it away. Hey, he's back. Is this what it looks like? We're talking about UN. That's oh, that, that's the UN like certification for hazmat. It's, it's, it has a lot of rules and regulations but you have to have a number that is given to you to pack specific batteries size into it. Oh. And for each one, each size battery, we have to make a new, new boxing for it. And, oh. um, and the cost is higher too. So, you, I mean, that's one of the impressions that I'm getting here is that this isn't just like a small time thing. You have another business that's been successful for many years and you're branching out and you're bringing that level of professionalism, quality, right. adherence to standards and safety. And that's, that's a big deal. It's not just like, yeah, we'll like take a screwdriver out and we'll help you out. You know, it's, it's a little bit more legit. Right, exactly. <laughs> or come down this next row over here and okay. you can see where they actually have their bikes lined up. Oh, sweet, so yeah. Here's where some of the bikes are. 
that they ship out to the dealers oh, with the nice. dual battery fat tire bike. And then I also want to mention that Ken came into my store a while ago and he was like, hey, we're getting into the e-bike industry. You know, what do you think? And I'm like, well, you just can't come out with some cookie cutter thing that everybody else is coming out with. <laughs> I said, if you're going to come out with something, come out with something unique and different. Yeah. And he was the first one to show up with the dual battery. And Rad. The, the big thing a lot of customers are asking for lately is range, range, range. Everybody's mm -hmm. got range anxiety when they're riding an electric bike. And if you're out a fat tire bike, that thing's a heavy bike to begin with. Yeah. Well, with the dual batteries on the bike over here, what are these, 11 and a half amp hour, Ken, I believe? Yeah, 11.6. Yeah, 11.6, so you're looking at uh, 23 amps of juice between the two batteries there. That's a pretty good range. I would say you could probably go a minimum of 25 to 30 miles per battery pack. That means you got a 50, 60 mile range here. I could make it to the beach and back on that. That's great. And you know, the battery packs usually weigh like six pounds or something. So for an additional six pounds to double your range is a pretty good trade off. And I like the way you've designed this. So it's not like, it's pretty balanced. We're gonna look at this, you know, separately and stuff, but that, that what is this one called? What's the model? Uh, we just call it the FTH Power Fat Tire Bike. I, I'm not sure the what the model. The actual name is Abyss. The Abyss. The oh, Abyss. good thing you're That's here for that. <laughs> so, Rock on, guys. That is again on our website, so they can look at it. If Sweet. Details for it. Thank you very much. What is the MSRP on that? Do you MSRP know? MSRP is 19.99. Wow! Wow! That is super cheap. We wanted to keep it below two thousand dollars, as everybody knows. The two batteries by themselves they cost over. Six seven hundred dollars for the batteries alone. So that's yeah. wholesale cost. That's wholesale. That's, yeah, you're being ridiculous, retail. right? Like normally that'd be twelve hundred bucks plus just in batteries right there. That's yeah. sweet. So, you know, we, we've we've had a lot of fun. There's a lot of stuff to talk about. But for the people who are interested in like battery repair and stuff, um, I hope this helps. Give us a try. Give them a try. That's right. Thanks, you guys. I had these guys grab one of the batteries that they were working on. You can see the cells inside and just how it's a little bit, it, this is more of like a, a down tube mounted battery. And Sam found one of his receipts for a battery repair. Yeah, so what they do is, is they, they charge the battery and then they just charge the battery. And they do that three times. You'll get a receipt showing, you know, the voltage of what it top, topped out at and the actual capacity of the battery. So this is a 20 amp hour battery here huh. after it being cycled three times on the machines over there. And they got three of those machines and each one of those machines can do how many batteries? Uh, six. Six, and you've got how many of those machines? Like at least, you have three? Three? So wow. You, so maybe you'll be adding more of those as your business oh, yeah. increases in oh, power. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, thank you. So that you're actually getting some feedback about what was done. Each and customer will get that with their battery. Very yep. cool. And then when you're done, this looks like a hazmat box and inside there was the shell and everything. Right. So you're- We have our own boxes, hazmat approved, and we are hazmat shipping certified. approved certified. So. And um, that's what we pack it in and send it back to them. Very cool. Thanks again, Sam. You got it.